Maximus Analysis here for November 8th, 2016. Uh, 2016. And uh, again, we had a huge pop up, a gap up yesterday. Uh, again, I got my newsletter out probably later on in the day. I didn't think that it was going to run up so much. Uh, but either way, uh, the, the message for the, the um, newsletter is actually that if you are bullish, just go with a quarter size position or find a way to manage some type of risk versus going fully in because. We have the U.S. elections tonight, and it could be a volatile, um, a volatile time in regards to the market reaction, and it could be up or down. But either way, I'd rather, again, if you're in a futures contract, you won't have to worry about your stop getting run overnight. But if you're in options, those markets are open from 9.30 to 4, so you might have a gap either up or down, hopefully in favor, favor of the position that you're in. Again, oversold conditions into the 2080 area that we so, showed and a, a pop. So again, it, it just can continue up. Again, we'll see how this week closes. Uh, it's Tuesday, so again, we'll see if we get above that 2150, 2162, and 2178. They go back and break new highs, and again, that brings them up to the 2300 or 20. No, not 2300. Let me look and see what I would say. Yeah, yeah, it could be 2300. Could be very doable, very doable right here. Um, so they're holding specific levels, uh, and they've been holding them. So again, uh, the short was done again oversold conditions uh, big volume last week i just expected them to either go a little bit further which my line in the sand was probably the 2040 uh 45 area but again the 2191 area the 2186 areas the the highs um that was big resistance and now that they do have a, a okay-ish retracement uh we'll see if they continue high but i'll i'll stay uh with my bull bias because of again i thought again if you've been watching the videos uh for years i've been saying uh, unfortunately for the whole 2015 2080 was a significant level that you can see broke it back below uh got barely up broke back got barely up false break uh, false breakout and then broke back below came resistance Came resistance brexit was actually the one thing that was able to really clear it and then ran out of steam so i do want to say that i will have a bullish bias based on the price action but again due to the nature of what's happening tonight i don't know how the market's going to react so i said again to manage risk means you don't go full position just wanted to reiterate that because of how important it is again i tweeted the first page it's pinned on my twitter profile you can read exactly what i wrote oops what i wrote in regards to that subject so let's look at some other stuff today we have the nq uh, up again this is um the futures markets going down holding this level again i didn't expect a gap up and go but you know it, it, you have to be prepared with these markets for every single thing that could happen. And again, I thought they would go back and at least retest this support level for get a, but it might not be, they might not ever go back. So again, we have the Brexit low. You had this whip back in uh, September and uh, see if they get back above here. But it, those, those names will continue to watch. Uh, we're looking at the YM. You can see that it's broken back above. Uh, we had our level that, again, another level that we saw of significant of si significance uh, break below, break below Brexit. Now holding again. Now what was uh, resistance now coming support, and so far it's holding well. So again, it could just continue pass and go to the 18.88 or the 19,000 level if we get positive movements here. Uh, depending on again what happens with the election and i think it's just an event that makes you reduce uh reduce trading size but not have the bias so again the bias was oversold into there so the dead cat bounce turned into a full-fledged rip uh, but again we had support levels that we were looking at now let's look at crude uh crude is Real quiet so far. Again, I needed to hold this uh, 4312 area, which is below, and we'll see how that works out. Because again, I wanted to hold the 4312 area and see where we we close this week. Again, if we close this week up here, and if you merge the two weeks, that would give you a hammer on a two-week chart. But again, we're don't let, let us not get ahead of ourselves. We have Wednesday EIA plus. Again, whatever happens overnight, we'll see the futures either rip to the upside or, or uh, stay down 
or maybe not do anything but either way I want to make sure that risk is, is managed um, who else we have we have TLT still going down into our um, <clears throat> our support but it's, it's breaking below I want to break above this um, 132 area for the buy signal so again I'm just waiting because again they're at the 50 percent retracement level of that so again I'm looking to see if we can get a buy above that or if they're gonna re come and retest these lows but again I wouldn't short being late because the short was actually this nice pull back into this area and with a hammer or excuse me with a shooting star pattern so again we will watch and this is annoying uh, as hell uh, just to, again these markets are really really annoying me um, in regards to just because of the election you know the FBI and again I'm not going to get into the politics I prefer never to get into politics plus how much more politics do you want over the last year thank God I would just get a break from all these commercials and stuff like that on the state side but either way um, we'll see what the market does the levels have been defined the newsletter went out yesterday it went over some, some names within the healthcare uh, sector that look like they could be poising for more highs um, and some other stuff in regards to forex and uh, forex markets as well so we'll continue to watch that if you're not on the newsletter please email me at max at maximusanalysis.com and uh, we'll see what happens tonight so again we'll see what whoever wins and how the market reacts I mean I don't care who wins uh, again I do care but that has nothing to do with what I would ever discuss here but what I do want is to see how the market reacts to whoever wins and then just go from there so again we know our levels we will keep them in our in front of what, what we got going on and uh, go from there again we have a gap and go so far if you look at the daily time frame you can see we have the gap and go we don't want to get back below 20, 20, uh, 2100 2105 and um, that's it so again held this level and they were out eight days eight, eight again I use the Fibonacci for more than just the retracements it's also the count one three one two three five eight thirteen so again you use these numbers as well to say how much more and against 200 day moving average do you need for oversold so that's what my thought process was behind that and uh, see you tomorrow take care morning should be very interesting